Are you a service-based business? Do you want to get more customers with online video? Then today's episode is for you. We're going to dive deep into YouTube strategy for your service-based business. Stay tuned. It's the Business of Video Podcast. You're listening to the Business of Video Podcast, where the world's top YouTubers and marketers talk about what's working with online video. This podcast is recorded live on Facebook every week, and you can join us when you visit businessofvideopodcast.com. And now your hosts, Owen Video and Nick Newman. Welcome back to the Business of Video Podcast, teaching your business how to get customers with online video marketing. I'm your host, Owen Video, here with Nick Play Button Nimmin, and we're live every Wednesday on Facebook, YouTube, and iTunes. And you can join us every week when you give me five. That's right. Pff, just type five into the comment section on Facebook right now, and that will subscribe you to the show. If you're watching on YouTube or iTunes, just click that big old subscribe button so that you don't fall behind, but instead move ahead in the business of video marketing. Hey, we're so happy to have you here. Nick, thanks for being here. Tell me, can you get 100,000 subs and make $100,000 in your business, or do you have to choose between the two? Absolutely, you can, without question, like not even like a sort of question. Like, absolutely, you can get 100,000 subscribers and make $100,000, no problem. Do you, do you hear the dichotomy? Do you hear sort of the industry saying you got to pick one or the other? Because I, I feel like that's sort of the mindset that's floating around the YouTube sphere. Yeah, I do. I, I think that people are, are, are kind of segmenting. Like you have to focus on this or you have to focus on this. But the thing is, is the one kind of leans into the other. So it's like if you build a plan on around, you're going to get that $100,000 thing. And then you start building the content around it and you're, you're also serving your audience with that content, then absolutely that content will actually be the vehicle that actually helps you get to that mark. Serving the, the people. I think that's audience. the audience. Yes. It's very democratic. Mm -hmm. Don't you think? It's very like it arouses sort it of is, like yeah. the... Yeah, it is. But, but the thing is, is, is like, uh, you know, like if you're, if you're just making content, you're throwing content out there, but it's not really like for anybody, you're just like, Hey, I'm putting the content out there because you know, this is what I want to put out there. That's great that you're making content that you want to make, but you also need to think about, okay, with the content that I'm putting out there, like, what is it doing for the people that are watching my oh, videos? Bingo. What is it that they're getting out of it that, that are going to keep, that's going to keep them coming back so that they can keep getting more and more of what it is that I'm giving them. Do we have a building? Do we have Professor Belding, I want to hear like a ding on that. That, that, my friend, is a truth bomb. And, and I want to invite our audience, when you guys hear a great truth bomb on the show today, enter the hashtag B-O-M-B, -B, that's bomb, in the comment section below, and then share the tip that you actually hear. And here's what, here's what I want to do, Nick, because what you said was just so true. It rings so true in the heart of every marketer, you have to be thinking about your audience and who you're serving. And oftentimes our audiences are too big. It's like we can serve everybody, which is not actually or technically true. Okay. So that's why what you just said is a major truth bomb. Now, for those of you watching on the internet today, if you're watching on YouTube or iTunes, I want to invite you to use the hashtag BOMB when you hear a truth bomb on the show today, and you're going to enter to win a giveaway for this amazing Owen Video one of a kind uh, truck A hat. It's actually French. A lot of people call it a trucker hat, but it's a truck A hat. It's very sophisticated. It's a very sophisticated, and you could be repping Owen Video and the service based YouTube life, right? when you're going out in the community. So use the hashtag BOMB and you'll be entered into the giveaway. But you, I wanna know from you guys, what do you think? Is it easier or is it more possible for you to get 100,000 subs or make $100,000 in revenue? Let me hear from you in the comment section today. Who do we have out there today? We got Darian Hill watching on Facebook. Darian gave me five. He typed five in the Facebook comments, subscribing to the show. Great to have you here, Darian. Yeah, we got Brian White, Kathy Spazzy. Kathy Spazzy logging in. Marcus Campbell. We know Marcus Campbell. He's a solid guy, right? Yeah. 
Absolutely is. Marcus is awesome. Got to hang out with Marcus for the first time at Video Marketing World. Um, really, really cool dude. I'm looking forward to hanging out with him again at uh, Vid Summit, which is coming up in October. Oh, Vid Just want to go ahead and say that if you are not going to Vid Summit, you are missing out. So you better get your Vid Summit tickets ASAP. Yeah. Just saying. I agree. And you know what? Vid Summit is going to be like the place to be for the rest of the year, right? In terms of conferences for marketers for the rest of the year, specifically the video people, if you're into video for your company or you want to meet the influencers in the space, Vid Summit's like the last best thing on the calendar for the rest of, of 2018. So I would put that on. Uh, you know who I met at Vid Summit? I met Tolis. Tolis Dokianis, if I'm saying that correct. I met him at Vid Summit. He's watching us now. Uh, he's in my course, Launch Your Live. I love seeing the people that not only like your content, but actually enroll in your in your courses. Like Devante Goins, who's watching right now. Uh, Brian Media Zeus White. Matt Reed is logging in. Uh, Brian White gave us a bell ding over there on uh, on Facebook, so that's great to see. Over on YouTube, we've got who do we mirror. got on YouTube? Yeah, we've got we've got a mirror. We've got a mirror uh, over here on uh, on Facebook as well, checking in from UScreen. Uh, oh, hey, great to have you here, here at uh, at UScreen. So uh, on YouTube here, it looks like we've got uh, your real estate whisper. Um, we've got Heidi from Costume CEO doing it with Jason. Um, also in the house over there, Dan Norton also, you know, swinging by there uh, on YouTube, doing some hanging out. Uh, Media Care Inc. saying what's up. Let me tell you something, Media Care Inc. I'm going to, I have a feeling that the live stream today is going to be right up your alley. So make sure that you are hanging out. I just want to go ahead and say that because I see that what you're doing with your channel name there. And I know that the business side of things is very important to you. So make sure that you stick around for the whole show because we've that's, got some good stuff coming your way. That's fantastic. Yeah, we're really going to focus on the business side today. We're going to review uh, three different service-based YouTube channels. And we're going to go into the, the what's working on those channels to grow on YouTube to get 100,000 subs. And we're also going to talk about what you what's working to get hundred thousand dollars in new customers because oftentimes, you know, a service based company can fall in between sort of like trying to be a YouTuber versus trying to be uh, a business owner that uses YouTube. And what's the difference anyway? So I'd really like to go into that. Don Cavanaugh logging in saying, "Hey, great to see you. Happy trails hiking." Logging in. Your real estate whisperer, Christina. Christina, I want you to stick around. I want you to use the hashtag bomb also because um, you, you were on our hearts today. You were on our minds today. Rush Seiler's logging in. And we want to say a big hello to our big, our new friend, our good friend, Evan Carmichael, who says, I'm in hustle mode today. Just want to drop some love for Owen and Nick. Evan, great to see you. And thanks so much for supporting nice the show. You, Always great to see him, right? Absolutely. Um, Vid or, uh, Video Marketing World was my first time getting to meet uh, Evan face to face. Also, such a awesome, humble, helpful dude. Um, you've uh, you know you've gotten to spend a lot more time with Evan than I have, but yeah. um, but the the, the brief uh, encounter that I had, uh, Evan was just awesome. Well, I'll tell you, I'm spending more time with him because I'm not at 225,000 million subscribers. Nick, play button, Nimmin. See, but it's not about that though. <laughs> right, it's not about that at all. You know, I see the grin on your face. Yeah, you know, I'm bringing it back to the show as always. But you're right, Evans is this incredible right. guy. You know what? He's the definition of an entrepreneur. He owns a dance studio, and when you see him at these events, he's actually wearing like sweatpants, and and he's he's wearing sweatpants because. He's comfortable. He's kind of like, I'm not going to do the thing that you all think I'm supposed to do because I've got a million and uh, some odd subs. I'm not going to do what you think I'm supposed to do because I own a dance studio, right? He does his thing, and that inspires me. Now, I don't, I'm not particularly comfortable in sweatpants. I, I'm comfortable in shorts, and I don't really wear shorts out a lot. Uh, so he says, what is this? What is this that you're wearing? You know, is this, this is what you're comfortable in? And I said, no, and not, not necessarily, but... Um, it's like shorts I'm comfortable in, but I'd be uncomfortable in if people saw me in shorts. Does that make sense? Sure. And then know. there's the appropriate side of things. It's like, you know, like I know that you can't always go around in your like robe, right? So it's like, yeah, you know, you yeah. gotta, no, you're actually, absolutely if you're, right. If you're deadbeat Dan, the super affiliate, you can absolutely go around <laughs> yeah. in your robe. But for the rest of us, yeah, the rest of us, we can't get away with that. Uh, we can't get away with that as much. Deadbeat Dan affiliate now that guy does some cool stuff you'll have to check him out ignacio yeah. lidahover hey we we're glad you guys are here kathy spazy is saying sweatpants for dancers yes and of course you do it 
uh, is logging in. Gospel is logging in. So glad to see you here. Tim Gillette. Oh, you know what? Tim Gillette's got a conference, too. Tim, we're going to have to like talk about that. <laughs> Evan Carmichael is saying shorts at Vid Summit. <laughs> I freaking love this community. I seriously love this it's community. Fun. It is a fun community. It's fun. Oh, and you know what, man? I was talking with, uh, with my uh, brother, D, and uh, uh, we were just talking about how awesome, like, this whole thing is. Just, like, live streaming and, like, yeah. making videos and, like, helping people and, like, yeah. like, the whole thing all the way around. It's just such a, like, when you wake up, it's like you have fun throughout the day. Of course, there's stressful sides of it, making sure you get content out and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and just trying to, like, hold everything down in terms of, like, the business side of stuff. But, but like, as a whole. Like, if you really break it down, it's like, really, we're all just, like, on here having a good time, meeting up on live streams, just having having banter running back and forth. And, I know. You know it's, just, it's, it's just a good time. I absolutely love it. It so is, Nick. And I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because for all of my friends out there in the service-based business world where you have a company, you've got a chiropractic office, you've got, you're a plumber, you're in construction, maybe you do taxes or financial professional, you're in fitness, Right. You can get mired down in the day-to-day of doing your business, but when you start using video, it enters you into this whole new community of YouTubers and video makers and education that makes the workday just that extra bit of fun. And if you enjoy your work, you may want to look at YouTube video if you're already doing YouTube at your work. Uh, well, then I'll tell you, you got a bright future ahead of you because it's, uh, it's just so much to love about what we do. So let's get started today. So here's what we're going to do today. We want to talk about, we want to dig into three different channels. And here's the trick. We are going to pick one of your channels from the audience to review today. So we're going to review two channels from members of our audience that we've already pre-selected. We've already talked to them and they already know it's going to happen. Uh, Then we're going to pick a third review and we're going to pick one of your channels uh, to review. And so we want to pick you based on the amount of comments that you leave in the comment section. And remember, if you leave a comment with the hashtag bomb, you'll be entered in to win the Owen Video trucker hat in this week's giveaway. So we're glad that you're here. Uh, Phil Starkovich, Stephen Dumala, Herman Dros. Let's get started. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. That's right. This show is brought to you by the YouTube guide for business owners. Do you want to learn how to make sales with online video for your service-based company? Well, then download the YouTube guide for business owners today. Just go to youtubetoolkit.com. That's youtubetoolkit.com. Enter in your name and email. We'll send you our scripts, our strategy, and all of the secrets that we use to get a service-based company off the ground with online video. Okay, I'm turning my hat around. It's going to get crazy. I'm, I'm, Uh-oh, my we're getting team, serious. Yeah, we're, it's getting serious. My team over here is laughing at me because they know, they told me not to turn my hat around today. So what do you guys think? First of all, hat backwards or hat forwards? Let me hear from you in the comment section. We're going to let, we're democratic. We're going to let the people, the people decide over here. Now, if you're listening yeah, to hat this. Yeah, hat backwards? On, hat backwards, I almost feel like you're getting ready with, to assault me. <laughs> Do you really? It's it's probably because of my my terrifying nature. I think is might be is part. Par, by the way, excellent uh, excellent mug today. Uh, looks like yeah. you and I are rocking the the two buddy mugs. I love to see that. That's fantastic. So here's what we're going to do. If you're, watch, if you're listening on iTunes, I want you to pay attention because we're going to do our best to bring this to life for you visually. So while you're listening in the car uh, or, or doing your work and, and you're maybe not able to look at the screen at all times, we're going to walk you through a little bit about what we're doing. So the first channel that we want to review today is a chiropractic channel. And if you know any chiropractors out there, then do me a favor and tag them in the description box or share this with them on their timeline invite your chiropractor friends to come in for this because this is going to be huge so the first thing that we want to do natural health and wellness yeah i think that you're right i think that you're right about that nick it really is if you're into fitness if you're into um uh uh, health and wellness and really like like on the all natural side too you know because i know that a lot of chiropractors and I'll, i'll here's a disclaimer i believe in chiropractic i'm not one of these chiropractic haters per se uh, I believe in chiro- I go to an active chiropractor, so I like the industry. 
uh, I, I like the industry a lot. So you're not going to hear any of the, like, the politics from me. We're going to talk about straight up, is this channel working and will it generate customers? Those are the big questions that we're going to answer. So we're going to go to, uh, to YouTube right now. We're going to go into YouTube and we're going to search for Dr. Sten Ekberg. And Dr. Sten Ekberg is a fan of the show. Can you actually go to the search results page, uh, Melissa, if you go to YouTube.com and search? Um, let's talk a little bit about what we're seeing uh, in his search tab right now. So the very first thing I see is that Dr. Sten appears at the top of the search engine, and it's his channel. So he ranks number one for his own name. Nick, is that important? It's extremely important. And, and secondary, uh, another thing that's also important is that He's made it crystal clear, the health channel that focuses on all aspects of natural health and wellness featuring Olympic uh, decathlete and holistic doctor, and then it says doctor, so it cuts him off right there. But yeah, yeah um, that, that's extremely important because it gives people insight. Um, one, it's easy to find him, which is the most important thing. And then after that, it gives them insight into what it is that he actually does. Now, can we bring up the search? We're not able to bring up the search. Okay, just go right back to the channel uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to click right on his channel. So the first takeaway here, guys, is you need to rank for your own name. You know, when your own name or your own company comes up, then you need to have videos there. And that might mean making a video that's called like Dr. Sten Ekberg Chiropractic Care, right? If that's the thing that you do. And that way people that have know that you're actively building years. a channel. So let's go on to his channel. Nick, walk us through what would make this channel better, what stands out. Kind of walk us through the YouTube side of a channel review. So on the YouTube side, at the very top of the uh, channel art, actually, first, before we get into the channel art, I, I just want to highlight something really quick. Mm -hmm. So on the search results page that we mentioned before, where it says health channel that focuses on all aspects of natural health and wellness featuring Olympic decathlete, um, and holistic doctor, Dr. Uh, Senekberg, mm -hmm. um, click on the about me page there. Okay. Good, good call. Because it's important for people to know that when you are, um, you know, putting this stuff together on your YouTube channel, that you want to make everything as easy to understand as possible. And one of the ways that you can do that is all of the, that top area right there. Um, the first, I believe it's 152 characters that actually shows up um, in this search result. So you can see that part that I read right up there where it says description right underneath that you'll see where it says um, health channel that focuses on all aspects of natural health and so on that I mentioned a second ago. Now it cuts off right after the doctor, but the most important part for the viewer to see, that's kind of like the teaser, right? Yeah. Saying, hey, this, saying this is what uh, this channel is about. So, you know, if you're interested on that, then that would entice somebody to click on that because they know that that's for them. So in terms of having his description set up properly, he's nailing it. Um, in his description, because the most important thing, the most important information that would connect with his audience is all there right up front. So yeah. I wanted to bring that to your attention for kind of stress how important that is. So the big takeaway there, the folks, takeaway. is to go to your channel and click on your about section and make sure that the first 152 characters of your description is optimized for search so that when they find you when they search for you those first characters will actually sell your channel and not just be spinning your wheels because we see that a lot right nick where the description box is kind of like oh yeah welcome to my channel and on this channel you'll find right. some hey cool guys, things welcome. yeah yeah to go yeah, right absolutely. into the value go right into the value okay and, so and another thing another thing Another thing that they should do also when it comes to that about me page, and I know we're kind of hammering on the about me page um, part here, but again, you know, this, this whole thing is about creating as many advantages for yourself as possible. But another place that that is important is, um, is on social media. When it's shared out on social media, the YouTube side is actually like 128 characters. I just put it in the character count. Cool. So 128, 29. Um, but when, you, when that gets shared out on social media, if somebody were to share his actual channel out to Twitter – then they would also see that same blurb with just a little bit more text on it. That's where the 152 comes in. Okay. Um, so, so not only is that good for YouTube search, but that also is your chance to entice viewers when they see someone else sharing your channel out on Twitter um, or on Facebook. Then they get that little blurb that is like the teaser that you can use to connect with that person that might be looking for your type of content. So, yeah, so super important there. Nick um, Wood. Second thing. Nick Wood. Nick Wood is saying, bomb, rank yourself to make sure you can be found. That's right, Nick. And since you use the hashtag bomb, you are entered in to the drawing to win the Truck A hat. Nice work, Nick. Boom. 
keep those comments coming in. Let's go back to channel art, Nick. Keep us uh, keep us rolling here. So now we're looking at Dr. Sten's main channel page. This is the second most viewed page on anyone's YouTube channel, right? The first is the video watching page. But on this is the main channel page. And, and what do you see here that you can uh, give us advice on? So at the very top um, of, the, of the page here, he, he has himself. Now, that's important because the people that are watching his videos, when they watch one video, because most people will find your channel through a video. Mm -hmm. So when they watch one video and then they click on your channel to see what else that you have to offer to see if you have more content like that or not, when they see you in the channel art as well as seeing you in the video, that makes that connection in terms of, this isn't a variety channel. This isn't, or I mean, this isn't a channel that they have a bunch of different people on. This isn't somewhere where they're just uploading stuff from someone else. This channel is actually like about this person. This is the personality behind this channel. Yeah. So if they connected with that personality when they were watching the video, they know right out of the gate without even having to think about it that the rest of the content, or at least a majority or the current content on the channel, is coming from that specific creator. So that's a really good move. Yeah. Um, especially if you are, especially if you do have a professional service because you know your part of converting sales from all of this stuff is building that no license like and trust uh, yeah. no like and trust factor and when they when they're making all these connections and getting used to the nuances of your personality yeah. and they just keep seeing you then they're getting to know you yeah through that experience yeah so that's so, really important so think now, about at that the very top so so think about that as a chiropractor as as a, a wellness professional are you the face of your brand, right? Because you can't hide behind the camera. As soon as people come into your your store, your clinic, right? They're going to see, they're going to meet with you. Probably going to go through like a like a one-on-one -on -one with like your entry level people and then and then they're going to get to you at the end of that meeting or something like that and you are the driving force, right? So it's like in sales, right? You want to like promote the sale, not the meeting, right? It's the meeting is only like to get to the use of your product. So you have got to, to be promoting yourself. You're the main doc, right? And you've got to be doing those videos, and Dr. Sten does a great job at this. What about the thumbnails? The thumbnails are a big factor in getting clicked, right? Talk to us a little bit about Dr. Sten's thumbnails. Yeah, without question. And really quick before we move down to the thumbnails, I also want to mention in the, um, in the channel art um, how he has the text up there, and he's saying, Master Your Health, oh, um, right up there at the very yeah. top of the yeah, screen. Good. Um, basically the, the reason that what he's doing there is basically he's that he's making that angled towards the viewer. So when somebody watches a video and then they come to his channel page, one, he's telling them in those three words, he's saying that there's more content on this page that are on this channel that you just watch. There's more content like that. And he's also saying that, hey, this is about mastering your health. That's what this entire channel is about. Right. And he's actually angling it towards them. So it's mastering your health. He's not saying mastering health, mastering all aspects of health. It's mastering your health, right? So yeah. he's making that connection with the person that, that is looking at it. Now, so, this is so just use three simple words. Three easy words is, is super powerful what he's, uh, what he's doing right there. So he's basically giving the value prop of the channel. He's connecting with the viewer and he's making that connection in terms of, yes, we have more of this stuff on our YouTube channel. Yeah, Excellent. brilliant. And then he chases that with the... With the name and the date, the date and time below. Yeah, with the, with the date and the time below um, so that people know when they can get more of his content. And then, of course, if you're doing this professionally, if you're representing your company, um, you know, you can see up there that he also has his Wellness for Life Holistic Health Care logo um, as well so that he can get that brand recognition um, as well in terms of the, the logo being up there in the channel art. Yeah. So his channel art just nails it. Now, with that said, I'm not sure... And I'm actually going to pull him up on my phone. I'm not sure if he's optimized for mobile, but I'm pretty sure he is. So but check let, that out. Check, check that out. While you're, thing that I want to let people know yeah, is is that um, that doesn't matter what type of content that you put out. Um, in some cases, you're not going to be somebody that has a majority of mobile users. But in most cases, because most of the users on YouTube are on mobile devices, it's more than 50% of the, all of the users on YouTube are, are watching from mobile devices. Yeah. You have to make sure that your channel art, your thumbnails, your the graphics in your videos, all of that stuff are all optimized for mobile. Yeah, big, uh, big, big key there. And the audience is agreeing with you. Roe Fisher is saying his thumbs are amazing. Pam Duthy is saying Dr. Stan's thumbs are great. Karmic Buzz is saying thumbnails are good. Hey, guys, remember to put hashtag bomb 
in your comments and be entered to win the hat. Kathy Spazy is using the hashtag bomb all over the place, and it's looking phenomenal. Hey, if you know a chiropractor, a health and wellness professional, tag them in the comments. Bring them into the show. One thing I want to, here's some advice I want to give as far as, a, you know, a business owner is concerned. Now, now Nick is and talking. He is, he is optimized for mobile. I just want to say that. Okay, Barely, show that but picture. He makes the cut. Show that picture. Can you show that? This is what the mobile looks like. Can we go full screen on Nick for this? So if you're watching this on the, uh, see, that looks great. So he's, he sort of positioned himself perfectly in that, in that banner to show up great on desktop and uh, on a mobile device. That looks great, Nick. Thanks for looking that up. Now, here's my one thing, Dr. Sten, because you're a business owner and you are, your service is chiropractic. Now, I understand that you offer ancillary tips, right? So we're going to go into now or so, a ancillary services. I want to talk a little bit about, you know, leveraging this for uh, for your business, for your, your your business mind, right? Or for your business model here is to bring customers in. 80% of your business, maybe more, is actual chiropractic adjustments, right? So I, I don't see that anywhere on this channel. And, and I'd love to see that somewhere. Like wellness for life, master your health. I love all that. Maybe where it says holistic healthcare, you could put something like chiropractic, nutrition, and exercise. Something like, instead of putting holistic healthcare, put the, the things that you do, the products that you offer for um, holistic healthcare. And, and we don't have time to go into your individual videos today, but I, I would love to see a playlist that, that is akin to how, to how to work with Dr. Sten, right? I'd love to see a playlist. Uh, I, mean, I love this, the SOAS stretch. I mean, all these videos are just really, and really, I think, Nick, we can agree, it's just a matter of time before this thing just really explodes. Uh, but I'd love to see a yeah, playlist. I think, his, I think his thumbnails. I think his thumbnails are. I think his thumbnails are fantastic. I see that he's experimenting with some new thumbnails compared to the style that he used to do. Yeah. Um, and another thing that I want to let people know that aren't familiar with our type of content, Owen, is that it's extremely important with all this stuff that you test like crazy. Yeah. Because like the stuff, and and you can see he's doing this right now. But but the 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 thumbnails that you put up that you think, hey, this is a great thumbnail. Um, sometimes they are, sometimes you nail it on the head. It's a great thumbnail, but it's also important to test your thumbnails and you can use a tool like TubeBuddy, for example, to help you do that. It's a great but tool. you can test your thumbnail against other variables for your thumbnail. So you, yeah. it's called AB testing. So you can have one thumbnail and you can compare that thumbnail against another one to make sure that you're getting a right formula down in terms of something that people are actually clicking on because it might look amazing. But if people aren't clicking on it, that's the only thing that counts is if people are clicking on it or not. Yeah, right, right, Owen? I mean, that's, they got to win the click. Am I right? Yeah, you you got to win the click. Chapter four of Brian G. Johnson's book, Win the Click, named after me, uh, or at least the, our, our expression for it. You have to win the click. And Dr. Stan, I would say leaving this uh, leaving this channel review, I would say get me – I want to see some videos on like – uh, you know, your first appointment, like walk, let's, let's see some onboarding videos here. Uh, I want to see more like customer testimonials. And I know that you have them in your channel review in your channel trailer, but I don't actually see like Sally's pain is gone. And then an interview with Sally. So I'd love to see more of that with calls to action uh, for a free appointment that connect to uh, some type of free appointment or something like that. So great job, Dr. Sten. Hey, let us know uh, scale of one to 10. Where do you rank Dr. Sten's channel. Let us know in the comment section, or if you're listening on iTunes, tweet us out. Let us know. Use the hashtag B O M B, and we'll follow that hashtag. Uh, which uh, I also us think that um, in terms in terms of um, in terms of Dr. Sten here, I also think that um, you know a decision has to be made, and he he might have already made that decision. Um, but in terms of any business owner, and I just think this is important to to bring up, like um, like when you're putting up videos on YouTube, you have to make a decision on Am I focusing this towards growing my channel or am I focusing this towards driving people to my business? Of course, you want to do both in tandem, but you have to put a primary and a secondary together and you have to identify those because like when I look at his channel art, Owen, you know, he's got the click to subscribe for health, which tells me that in his channel art, like, hey, it's more important for me to grow my YouTube channel than it is to send people to my website and get leads. Yeah, yeah. So like as a business owner swapping that around with the website link to where you put a call to action um, to the website and then you put a call to action to the or, or the little YouTube icon there for the subscribe um, you know that in that case it would be more angled towards driving the traffic to the website instead of growing the YouTube channel Absolutely. so it's really important you know depending on your personal needs yeah. to, to, to clarify 
what is it that I'm actually trying to accomplish here and put the order of importance so that you can make sure that you structure everything that you're doing around that order of importance. Do we have uh, an audience applause sound effect today? Because that, that was a mic dropping moment right there. Really a mic drop. You're absolutely right. Make the decision. If it were me, there it is. He deserves it, folks. That's right. Uh, if it were me, Dr. Stan, that would be like my main opt-in for getting customers. It would be like, it would be like, you know, get my, my 10 tips on health. And then when they get those 10 tips, the next page is a tripwire that says, hey, would you like to get on a 15-minute call with Dr. Stan? And of course, this is all geo-targeted to your area and whatnot. You know, you've got, you got some things to work out there on the specific side. But a funnel that brings people into your newsletter and, and brings them into your an opportunity to even do virtual consulting with you, right? I'm sure you could do Skype consulting. That might open up your offerings into a, a whole new revenue stream that could take you to the next level. So great job, Dr. Yeah, same, Sten. Yeah. yeah, same thing with his video description as well, you know, because he has yeah, a call to action. Yeah. He has request an appointment. Um, in his video description, which is which is definitely good. Um, however, it's at the very bottom um, of his video description. It's about right. three quarters of the way down his video description. So, you know, again, that's one of those, those things in terms of making that distinction on, on what the primary goal is uh, with the channel. Yeah, uh, great stuff, Nick. Now, what I want to do is I actually want to go to, I'm going to change the show up a little bit. Melissa's going to be pissed. But I want to change the show up a little bit. And I want to go directly into a channel from a member of our audience that I have tyrannically selected of my own free will. Uh, I would like uh -oh. to uh, take a look at your real estate whisper. Christina, give it up for Christina, ladies and gentlemen, by the way. Um, she's got a great channel. I want to I want to like really get a chance for Nick and I to go through this channel um, from the eyes of what's great for YouTube and what's great for growing the real estate side of the business so christina i want to thank you for always being a part of our audience and engaging and we're going to review your channel right now and i hope you find it valuable because you do great work and we want to see you get that next level now christina is a real estate agent so if you know you My um, name is christina. let's just throw that yeah so if if you know a real estate agent tag them in the description box below or share this with them on their timeline, click the share button and invite them in to come and see uh, this this content. So let's take a look at um, uh, Christina. Now her channel is called Your Real Estate Whisper. Nick, do you have that channel up on your screen? Yes, sir. So go ahead and walk us through uh, your initial Im you know impulse on this channel. Okay, right out of the gate, um, just as a heads up to her, she is getting cut off like she's cutting herself and because because she's got the family up in her header right yeah. so she's trying to say hey you know like we're we're like a family i'm part of the family hey i want to introduce you to my family she's like selling herself as like a family person right yeah but on a mobile device all of that is going to be shoved over to the side and most likely getting cut off okay so because of that she should definitely kind of reconstruct how she's doing that if that's something that she's trying to sell now let me jump um, in here let me jump in here here's what i think she's doing christina let me know if i'm right in the comment section i think that her this banner is really made for mobile it's the black circle with her logo and those four lines of text in the middle they're kind of like in the middle i'll bet you that's what shows up on mobile and she had to fill in the larger banner on the desktop and she decided to use pictures of her family am i right about that christina uh it, that that's what you decided to do maybe maybe nick's right and the whole thing needs to be sort of uh brought over look here's my here's my immediate advice to you on this family picture because let me explain to you guys uh, listening on, on itunes she's got this great big beautiful banner with like big green hills and you know fluorescent kind of pink and blue text and then on the left hand side is her family but your family isn't really a part of the videos right you i've seen you use your daughter you like they're there they're part of it but i think what's even more valuable christina is that you do characters and how fun would it be to see your characters all on the side here? You know, like the four different versions of you that you represent in your videos, right? Because you're kind of like the Martin Short of real estate, <laughs> you know? Um, and those, like to go with what Nick was saying, those are the things that people are logging in to see, I think. Like that's what they're going to see on the channel uh, versus your husband's. Your thoughts, Nick, are my way off? Maybe it's just uh, um, tomato, well tomato. Yeah, I, I just pulled her up on YouTube and and on the mobile, like I, I definitely see I definitely see what's going on there with her, you know, focusing on that text and focusing on the logo, which is a really smart move. 
Um, what I'm saying is if she is going to have the family up there, yeah. that she just needs to kind of reposition things a little bit. She either needs to bring them in yeah. or she needs to push them over a little bit more. Because right now, if you pull this up in the YouTube app, um, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, Owen, but yeah. you can see yeah. that the only person showing up is the daughter. Oh man, such such great so feedback, it just Nick. Looks a little weird, right? Yeah. yeah, it looks a little bit weird. It's a little bit cut off. So, um, so it just kind of you know, it, it makes it incomplete, right? Yeah, so, I think so it's just a great. tiny adjustment, not a big deal. Yeah, not a big deal. Just a tiny little adjustment. There is something that I would definitely recommend. Um, another thing is that I think that <laughs> I, I think that um, the text by the way, up guys. The top, by the way, guys, I'm screaming at my family to go to go. Get the dog. The dog's in the backyard barking at the neighbor dog. And I'm sure my mic is picking up little like echoes of that. Someone's going to be yeah. walking down the street listening to this and go, what the? <gasps> you, you know, thinking a dog's, a dog's after him when it's my. Does that ever happen? Like you're listening to a podcast and you hear a police siren. And you start to pull over, you know, and it's like it's actually in the podcast that you're hearing it. Anyway, that's just the, the live video, folks. Live here, uh, uh, we're we're doing video live, and that's what happens. So, um, anyway, Nick, please yeah. continue with your more professional um, con contributions to the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another thing that I would do in your channel art is it's awesome to have you know like a breakdown on what people can expect from your channel. But there's a lot of from a graphic design standpoint. Um, yeah. Back in your channel art again, there's there's a lot of competing things going on there. Um, there's no real direction on where people should look. So you have like Good. the real estate infotainment, the buying, selling tips on Tuesday, the uh, re-trivia Thursdays, live home Sunday walkthroughs. And having all that on there is great. But what I would do is I would have a designer work this out to where you're focusing on one main thing. Yeah. And you're like, hey, this is what I deliver here. And then you have the subtext of, you know, this is the, you know, these are the different shows that I do. So that you have that main big thing like, hey, this is what I'm focused on. And the reason that this is important is because nowadays on YouTube, when you subscribe to a channel, well, one, there's the mobile side of it. Two, when you subscribe to a channel, then what happens is, is it slides down mm -hmm. and then it'll show you those additional little headers down there in the bottom. The additional little pieces of channel art for other channels that YouTube recommends that the people that watch that type of channel would subscribe to. Right. And what you want to make sure that you're doing is you want to make it crystal clear that this is the type of content that you can see on this channel so that when that gets suggested there, they're going to see your real estate whisperer name and then they're going to see the channel art. Yeah. So reinforcing that what it is that you're actually offering on your channel, I think is really important because like the channel name, your real estate whisperer says, yeah, I'm doing something about real estate. But if you could make your value proposition the main focus of your channel art so that if somebody sees that on a small size, it instantly makes sense. And then you have the other things that you have in your channel art um, as kind of like the secondary in terms of importance. And it's not competing um, for the viewer's attention um, in terms of where to look on the page. And where and where to go, right? Well, do I want to go to buying right. and selling tips in my live, in my live trivia? Uh, you know, absolute great points there. And then, you know, kind of reworking thumbnails to have uh, a self-filtering uh, you know, sort of strategy in them so that you can see the color directs you and where to go. Christina, I'd love to see stuff that, that kind of leans again towards your business as well, that leans again towards, um, yeah. like, seriously, you can, like, you can hire me. Seriously, right? Um, uh, the the Harmon Brothers, they do this great, their, their commercials are so funny, right? You've probably seen them. They did that, uh, you know, they do all the funny web video commercials, okay? And in, in some of their, in, in a lot of their videos, right, they did this one with a, an app that you can take pictures and then it sends it to be printed and you get a print book uh, out. And they had this mom going through her life and it was very funny. But it's so funny that when they introduce the product, they say, uh, this is a real product that you can actually buy, right? And they're, they're letting the viewer know, hey, we understand that this is funny, but it's a real thing, you know, and, and that, that might be something for you to work on, uh, Christina, is to put something in here that's like, you know, working, uh, selling your house with me as a playlist, right? And these have some of your about me videos in, and these aren't going to be big hits on your channel, right? These are going to be videos that you're going to want to put in an autoresponder sequence when you meet a new prospect, so you meet someone new and you send them immediately your About Christina video. And, you know, you could be something like, hi, I'm Christina Mellonhorn, your real estate whisperer. But 
I have a few friends that you should meet. And then you do your one character, right? And it's like, it's like, oh, I'm like stupid realtor, right? You do this like valley girl realtor, like doesn't know anything, right? So you do that and you, you introduce the audience to that character and you, you let them know, hey, I have this channel that I build. Uh, and, and I can help you sell your home and, and we can do it using these growth strategies, right? Or whatever the case is. So I'd love to see something like a playlist around the business side of what you do. Uh, and, and again, that, that alerting people, cause it can be kind of shocking, right? I got a $300,000 home and then I go to your channel and it's just like, whoa, right? Like who is this person I'm about to give my, my social security number to, Right. Think about that and have, I'm not saying it should be less rowdy. I'm just saying you should explain it to them that this is what you do. Oh, by the way, I have a show because that provides a ton of credibility, right? When you go to your audience, you, you go to your, you know, a chamber meeting or a business meeting and you meet someone or your cousin refers you to somebody, they, they think it's cool that you're an actual realtor, right? That has a YouTube channel that actually gets subscribers, and I think having that, that indoctrination series is something that could be very valuable, very valuable for you. Nick, any final words on Chris, Christina's channel? Um, I definitely think that she should target search a lot more than she currently is. Oh, I understand that. that she's trying to. Yeah, I understand like in some of these like secret sellers, secret sellers should keep. Yeah, that, that might, she might be here. Hold on. Uh, secrets. Yeah. So, so she might be targeting on that one, but it's like some of these seem like they're taking, they're, she's making them for the sake of uh, suggested, mm -hmm. which is okay. Um, but I would always try to work in a, in a niche like this. I would always try to work some type of SEO into the title for the sake of making sure that you're generating all that evergreen content that's going to continually drive you traffic. And more importantly, that people are actually, you know, actively searching for. Yeah. Yeah. Great points. Great job, Christina. Uh, we love what you're doing. I want you to keep doing it and hope that that uh, provides you with some value. Guys, what do you think? Scale of 1 to 10, where does Christina's channel rank in your mind? Let us know in the comment section. And let's move on to our third and final review. This is for a lawyer, an attorney. He's an immigration attorney, so you know they're super busy in the U.S. right now. It's an immigration attorney, friend of the show. He's a good friend of mine. I've known him for years. And, uh, and we've done some business together, and I wanted to just sort of jump in and, and look at this channel, uh, and we could talk a little bit about what he's doing right and what he's doing wrong. Uh, Nick, why don't you uh, start us off? What are your immediate impulses on what's good and what could improve on this channel if you're a lawyer? And if you know a lawyer, if you know an attorney, maybe immigration, maybe divorce lawyer, maybe some other kind of lawyer, tag them in the description in the comments below and let them know. Uh, we're talking about attorneys. Nick, take it away. What do you think? Okay, right out of the gate, um, at the very top of his channel art, um, his his immigration law made easily made easy is slammed across the the top. He definitely should uh, scoot that down just a little bit. Um, outside of that, I love that he is in the channel art. I love that um, he has his name there really big, and he has new videos every week. Mm -hmm. um, big, but I think that he should put less focus on new videos every week. Um, and a slightly less focus on his name and a bigger focus on the immigration law made easy. Yeah, amazing. Great feedback. Um, I also, here, give me one second here. Yeah, you can look that up on okay, mobile. So he, yeah, he is actively using Google+, Plus, so that's good. I was going to tell him that if he's not, so that he should get that off of his, uh, off of his channel, but he's okay there. Um, and Google+, visit our Plus, website by the way. I think, I think that visit... Google+, Plus, by the way, is ahead, a great right. strategy for SEO. Oh, yeah. You know, I had to be sold oh, on it. Yeah. I had to be sold on it by my, my social media guy, a guy named Dustin Stout, uh, who does incredible yeah. work. Uh, but Google yeah, Plus is a ranking place. thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's another place that you can rank. Like sometimes a video won't rank in a good spot, but a Google Plus post will. I actually um, have dropped the ball on Google Plus, but I used to, every single video that I would upload, You'd share I would it. go into Google Plus to make sure to do it, but but I've just gotten lazy. Yeah, I hear that. I need to I actually make that. note. Yeah, I've got to make a note actually to. Uh, to Nick to is do growing. That. That's but, right. Uh, Nick is. We're actually stretching him while we're on the show, <laughs> and that's always uh, that's always good to see. So please continue. What else do you see about but, this channel? Um, I also see that if he's using this to generate leads, I think where he has visit our website for updates, he should make that again something that's more value. Because like visit for updates is a very vague thing to say. Like, are you getting updates? Like, you're already getting updates on YouTube. 
So what type of updates do you actually mean with getting updates? Like, do I have to go somewhere else to get the updates? Am I getting updates of your videos on YouTube? Are you meaning that you're going to put me in an email list of some kind? Like, what does that even mean? So I think that um, for the sake of getting them into his funnel, that he should change the visit our websites for updates to, you know, download our, you know, our, our, uh, our immigration law ebook for free or, you know, something like that or our 10 tips for, you know, to get your immigration free or, you know, whatever. But, but just make it like an actual call to action that would be a little bit more enticing to people instead of having it a vague um, visit our websites for updates. Yeah, and I would e I'll even go one step further on this as well. And uh, Jacob, I know that your website, and this is because I know your business is H1 Biz, and you focus a lot on like the H1 visa or the H1B visa, right? Forgive me if I'm using the language wrong. But I would even go like visit our website, like get my H1B visa checklist or cheat sheet, Perfect. right? Or the ultimate yeah. guide yeah. to getting yeah. the H1B visa, right? And so yeah. now you've got this really hyper focus. So it's like it's like immigration law made easy, um, H1B visa specialist on your channel banner. You've got like this thing that says get my H1B ultimate guide. And then I go down to your yes. playlist and I see a playlist that's like like mastering the H1B visa, right? And that's I don't see that uh -huh. here. I see a lot of like top level. But Nick, you're agreeing with me. You're picking up what yeah. I'm putting down. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I'm picking it up all day long, man. Yeah, that was that was all great. <laughs> and, and and that summarized is basically just like hyper focus in your channel art, hyper focus in your call to action, hyper focus in terms of your playlist. Like if that's the people that you're trying to reach, then having that hyper focus is is uh what uh, I'm, I'm Brian G. Johnson recommended a uh, an ebook to me, or I mean an audio book to me, um, called uh, Expert Secrets by Russell Bronson. Yeah. Oh, and oh, one of yeah. The things, one of the phrases. Oh, yeah. yeah. One of the phrases that he mentioned in there is like the riches are in the niches, right? Yes. So like yeah. in, in 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 that whole thing, you know, like when you can hyper focus like that and be like, this is what I offer, and you just make it crystal clear, this is my stuff. Yeah. And 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 you make it crystal clear in terms of that specific niche that you're serving. If you have um, instead of just immigration law, you're focusing on a specific thing, then that's really important. Um, another thing that I'd recommend for you, um, Jacob, is that in your video descriptions, I'm looking at your last video that you uploaded here, and um, in your video descriptions, right now you just have the descriptions at the very top um, of the video description, which is great, um, but you also need to make sure that you're adding like an auto subscribe link. You need to make sure that you're adding links to other playlists yeah, good. Um, in there and other videos that, that somebody that would watch this video would also be likely to watch. Um, you also want to make sure that you add um, your call to action for your website or your ebook down there as well. So that again, just like in your channel art, you can continually be building up those people that are trying to solve the problems that you solve. Yeah. So, I mean, so that's something that I would definitely get onto very, very quickly. Yeah. Now, Nick, I've been sort of talking in the comments and moving back and forth. So you may have said this already. Can we talk about the the thumbnails? And maybe you just went off on this. The thumbnails, and they're all kind of different, right? Like I don't see them. Yeah. Uh, and even when you search, when I go to YouTube and I search for Jacob Sapochnik, and I, I know his name, so it's easy for me to spell. It actually pops up in my in my system. Uh, looks like we've got some like some similar themes down here in videos. Okay, so you're okay, Melissa. You're showing me some cool stuff. So I I do see some similar themes here, some branded themes. But when I go to the home page, the videos on the yeah, home he page, let it go. Yeah, like yeah. they don't carry over, and so and these thumbnails don't matter, right? Like I see this one that's just a picture of him in front of a blue shirt and a blue wall. Like swap that out. Like er everything on this page on this home page. Like swap these out. Um, yeah. to, and you've got this video with Mari Smith here. I mean, I guess she's social media queen, so it may not matter to your clients so much. Uh, maybe get rid of that seven steps to Facebook success with social, with Mari. Like I, does that belong on this channel? You know, I don't, I don't think so, but get those thumbnails swapped right. out. It's the same thing when I search your name on YouTube, Jacob, I go to, I, I search Jacob and then every thumbnail looks different. So I, maybe it's Jacob S. Maybe it's this other Jacob. Maybe it's this other attorney. I don't, I don't know right what it is and so that's something that you may want to look at as well as just kind of getting that um uh finalized and in nick closing thoughts and, on jacob sapochnik yeah on, yeah on this one and and i'm i'm so big on this because i i understand its importance um but but one thing that jacob also needs to think about in any service business needs to think about is if you look at um coca-cola you look at red bull you look at any like big brand 
Like they have their branding guidelines that they follow and literally everything that they do is within those branding guidelines. Yeah. So like your channel art and, and I'm just being, you know, I'm being, um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for here? Um, constructive. Yeah. But like, you don't have, like when I see this, I don't think like, wow, this guy's a professional. I think that this guy is like, okay, he's got a YouTube channel and like, maybe he's trying to get his business started. That's what I'm thinking when I, when I see this. And I don't know, I don't know anything about you, yeah. but that's, that's the perception that I get. So what I would recommend is I would hire a designer. It's going to cost you some money, but I would hire a designer or at the very least go on Fiverr and have people make you some templates that you can modify yourself. And I would, I would rebrand everything it is that you're doing here on your, um, on your YouTube channel to, to, to present yourself in a more professional way. Yeah. Because if you, if you, like if you if if everything looks polished, then that that's symbolic of professionalism. And if it's symbolic of professionalism, then people are more likely to trust what it is that they're seeing in terms of you know of, of you know contacting you to actually do business with them. So like as an example, you know like I see your logo and stuff on your website. I'm looking at your website, and your website looks good. You know you have a really nice looking website. Yeah. Um, and I see here you even have like a you even have like a um like a book here that you're either selling or giving away. Um, but like, you know, how everything looks here is nice, but it just kind of falls apart a little bit when you go to your YouTube channel. It definitely looks like you're somebody that's trying to do it instead of somebody that's actually doing it, if that makes any sense. Yeah, you know, I, Nick, I think that that's, uh, that's very in tune, you know, and I think that you bring up a lot of great points about what the impression that I get when I land on your channel. And if a channel like this yeah. is running ads on YouTube, which you very may well be, you're going to be getting a significant amount of, of traffic onto this particular page just because you're running ads. So this page needs to speak to that impression that your ads make and does it. Are you a YouTuber? Are you an attorney? Uh, are you a YouTubing attorney? And I think that's who you want to be, right? You're an attorney. You're taking clients. And I, I know that you're taking clients. Uh, and that's your primary business. And so dialing in the artwork here to match the brand on the page, having the page, you know, consistent and ready to convert that traffic based on the offer in the YouTube ads, that's the missing piece here. That's the missing piece. And if any of you are watching out there today, you know, just know uh, that we can provide consulting and training and help for you to dial in your channel and make better videos. And you can learn more about that at thevideospot.net. So Nick, any closing advice uh, uh, for our service-based businesses? We've, ta we've taken a look and we've got a giveaway we're going to do. So stick around. But Nick, closing up today, we looked at three service-based companies uh, and we looked at their YouTube channels. So they're taking clients. What's the big piece of advice that you would uh, leave us with today? Um, big piece of advice is make sure that you're targeting search terms that are solving the problems that your customers are having. Um, make sure that your, that your channel, and if you can, um, also make sure that your videos look professional. You don't have to go like top, you know, the best equipment in the world. Just make sure, make sure everything like looks and sounds good. Right. Um, and, uh, search branded in terms of like things looking professional, um, and make sure that in your video descriptions and your channel art, even references that you make in your video, your in screens, um, all of that, that you're, that you're funneling people from your website to your web pages because people can watch your videos all day long. Yeah. But if you're not making it possible for them or if you're not spreading the awareness about, you know, this is what I offer and I want you, you're not telling them that, hey, I want you to be a customer, so go and click on this particular thing. If you're not telling them that, then a lot of people are not going to take that initiative. So it's really important to put those links in your description, to put those links in your channel art and let people know what it is that you that you have available and make it easy for them because you might be telling them at the end of your video, you know, hey, if you enjoyed this video, um, you know, you want to work with me, make sure that you give me a call at, you know, whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people might not even be making it to that part of your video. Right. So it's really important Absolutely to make sure right. that you're putting these links all over the place so that they can find you easily because the whole trick with all this stuff is making all of this as easy as possible for people to do the things that you want them to do so that you can get them on your website so that they can find you and all of that stuff and so they can interact with your content and so on. Uh, that's a phenomenal point, guys. Don't forget, if you're a service-based company, you have got to be creating videos that onboard and walk your clients through the process of doing 
business with you. At Owen Video, we call this a video sales funnel, creating videos that lead to a page where you can capture the traffic and as soon as they opt in, they get an email sequence that nurtures them to sale. It's going to be very rare that you get a new customer, a new client, a new appointment after watching one video. In fact, I just did a, a, a lengthy um, uh, you know, uh, onboarding call with a Kathy, uh, who's a chiropractor. And she told me, she says, I just got done watching 40 hours of your videos, and I figured you're, so I, and I know that you're the right guy for me, right? Uh, and now I'm sure it wasn't 40 hours. I'm sure it was something like four or five videos. Uh, but in the life of an entrepreneur, right. it seems like a lot of time. What she was saying was, I binge watched you. So you've got to be creating this binge watchable scenario with great titles that uh, rank for search, but that also speak directly to your customers, right? At the end of every video, you got to say, yeah. now, if you want to stay in touch with me or get a free appointment, a free 15 minute call, right? Then click on the link here. They may not do it in that video, but they might do it. And I know that they will do it after the fourth, fifth, or sixth video. They may even do it randomly, right? Waking up in the middle of the night and they're like, you know what? I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this stress. I'm just going to call Owen video, right? And just right, get the, right. I'm going to call yeah. Christina. I'm going to call Dr. Stan and just figure out what this pain in my shoulder is. So think about that as you're yeah. running your uh, service based businesses. And if you enjoy another show. thing, yeah, and another thing also really quick for the service-based businesses, because Brian, or, or Brian, I don't even know where that came from. Owen was talking about, uh, Owen was talking about uh, uh, people binge watching your content. So one thing that you also want to think about as a service-based business is how can you actually kind of uh, orchestrate that? So one thing, another another tip for you really quick before we head off of here mm -hmm. um, is also when you're putting your content together, instead of thinking, okay, well, I'm going to do this video on this to solve this problem. I'm going to do this video on this to solve this problem, which is different than this problem. Think of how can I make videos in stacks of, let's say, five or six that 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 every single video in that series Very good. solves a different aspect of the problem so that you're constantly feeding people into that series. And then um, when you do that, you mark those those playlists as a series playlist very good and then youtube is more likely to suggest your content next to the other videos in that playlist as well which can also help you know drive people into more and more of your uh content boom i love it hey if you guys enjoyed the content on the show today share this video on your timelines in your twitter feeds and with your friends and colleagues right now we have got a winner do we have a drum roll please do we have a drum roll for the winner of our Truth Bomb Contest, we got the drum roll in the background, I love it. Who wins the Owen Video Trucker Hat? And our winner today is Kathy Fit. Kathy Fit is the winner of the Truth Bomb Contest today. Kathy used the Truth Bomb tag in her comments the most. Actually, it was between Kathy and Karmic buzz so karmic buzz you came in second ah oh, oh so close and i want you to come back again next week and join us for the show we're going to be giving away more stuff maybe it's a hat maybe it's a shirt maybe it's a microphone a lot of great stuff coming up so be sure to subscribe to the channel on youtube and itunes if you're watching on facebook type five in the comment section right now you'll subscribe to the show and you'll join us again next wednesday as we go even deeper. Next week, we're actually going to go into LinkedIn video. We're, uh, Judy Fox is going to be on the show. Some great strategies for content creators and business owners. So stay tuned. We'll see you next week on the Business of Video podcast. Thank you for listening to the Business of Video podcast. If you like the show, give us a review on iTunes or share this episode on social media now. Join us next time on Facebook Live. Just visit businessofvideopodcast.com and subscribe to the newsletter updates. This podcast is brought to you by Tuber Tools and biztubeacademy.com.